Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to take you along and do a clean with me. I have got some new items that I want to put away in my china cabinet and hang up some new pictures and then just some normal tidying up and cleaning around the house. So I thought I'd take you along with me and let's go ahead and get to cleaning. I'm just gonna start off by putting away the clean dishes that I have in the dish drain and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the few dishes that I have in the sink and get those cleaned and then just another few little cleaning up that I have to do in the kitchen. I had some laundry that I already started earlier, so I'm just going to go ahead and get the dry laundry and then add the laundry that needs to go in the dryer and then we'll go ahead and go fold the other clothes that need folded and put away. So now I'm in the living room and I'm going to start working on the china cabinet. As you can see, DC, my cat, he's on top of the china cabinet. He's always getting up on the highest places that he can reach. But I recently got these bird pictures from a thrift store and I wanted to hang them above my china cabinet because here in a little bit I'm going to be putting uh, my new, I got some bird figurines from my grandpa and I wanted to put those in my china cabinet so I thought that the bird pictures would match to go along with that. So I'm just starting by taking everything out of the china cabinet. I had had a lot of different things in there but it had gotten pretty cluttered because 
We recently redid our kitchen and I moved this into the living room, which I decided I like to keep in here. But anyways, I just put a lot of breakable stuff in there that I didn't want broken when we were doing renovations. So it kind of got cluttered and I never really cleaned it. And since I wanted to put my new bird figurines in here, I thought I would just take it all out and clean it and then completely reorganize the whole cabinet. By this time, Evelyn is up from her nap, and if you can see her little fingers and her little head walking around, that's what she's, she's just trying to help me put everything back in there. But there's Evelyn, she's up from her nap now. I finished everything to do on my to-do list, but I thought I would take you on a little mini tour of the china cabinet that we just cleaned and organized, so I'll go show you that now. Up above the china cabinet, here are the new bird pictures that I got at the thrift store to hang up. And I just got those, and I'm hoping they're not too high. I think they look good, but I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Anyways, um, here is in the china cabinet. I'll open it up to try to show you a little better. But here is just a clock I've had for a long time that I always just keep in here. But here are the bird figurines that I was talking about. And then this one I actually picked up from a garage sale, but I thought it would match with my other birds. shelf I just have some of the pink depression glass I really like collecting that and most of it I get from thrift stores but I just have the different pink glass that I have on this shelf and then also some of my favorite of the figurines are these flamingo ones and all of the bird statues except that one the bluebird one that I was showing you all of these were my grandma's and she recently passed away in the beginning of this year so um, my grandpa gave me these so they're they're really special to me and that's why I wanted to put them in my china cabinet to display but I just thought they were really pretty and especially the flamingo ones because I love flamingos anyways but I thought that they would be pretty in the center and then also just with my other depression glass. This is actually a picture of my other grandma and she actually also passed away um, the towards the end of last year but in the bottom of the china cabinet that I'll show you um, on the right side, I have some of uh, cats and different things that was also belonged to her. So just kind of a tribute to my grandparents and uh, just some special items that I have. So down on the next shelf is a little tribute, I guess, to my wedding. It's just our cake topper and our boutonniere or Brent's boutonniere probably from the wedding. And then I think the red boutonniere right there is from um, our prom together in high school. So, and then I just have our champagne bottle from our wedding, um, some of the bubbles and our little champagne flutes.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this clean with me and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.